Praise God, and welcome to another House of Prayer online ministry. I am your pastor and one of the co-founders, um, Pastor Harris out of Michigan. The other pastor is Apostle John out of Texas. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Today, we're going to talk about fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made will be coming from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 as well as psalms chapter 139 verse 14 let us pray our god our father we thank you and we praise you you alone are worthy god we ask you to forgive us for our sins we are here for no shape form or fashion god solely to lift up the name of jesus it is in you that i live move and have my being god i thank you and i praise you for allowing me to be sold out for this great man named Jesus, who said he would never leave me nor forsake me. I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name, tear down my flesh. Allow your spirit to arise and take dominion over my mind, body, and soul. Lord, you speak to me and through me. And let the people of God understand that I must be the first partaker as I minister the word of God. I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 as well as Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. Let us read Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 first. For thou art a holy people until the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be special people up unto himself above all people that are upon the face of this earth. Let's read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Now let us go to Deuteronomy, I'm sorry, Psalm, excuse me, Psalm chapter 139, verse 14. Thank you, Jesus, the blood, the blood. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul willeth right well. Read it again. Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works. Marvelous are the works. And that my soul knoweth right well. Hallelujah. That's good news. That's good news. My soul knoweth right well. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a special people and I am chosen. God chose me. And when he chose me, he only made one me. And so therefore... It's my job to be obedient so that the works that God has for me are fulfilled during this time while I'm here on earth and there's breath running through my body. God is allowing me to do the work that he has called me to be, to do. Thank you, Jesus. It's only one uh, Pastor Harris. It's only one Pastor Patricia Harris, and that's me. Even twins, my mom is an identical twin. Our mother, thank you, Jesus, is an identical twin. And the two of them act nothing alike. Now, they look a lot alike. But when God made one, he made one like this and he made one like that. You are wonderfully, fearfully and wonderfully made. You are chosen by God. Only you can do the assignment God has for you. Now, be not deceived. God always have a ram in the bush. So if you don't want to do what you're called to do and you disobedient and you want to do your own thing, God got a ram in the bush because God's will is going to come to pass. So we might as well humble ourselves at the, under the mighty hand of God and know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we are that we are special people. Now, just because you're a special person don't mean that you ought to think more high and mighty of yourself above somebody else. That's what people get that a little twisted at. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a special person. I am a chosen generation. That is true. But there's nowhere God said, I need you to look down on your brother and sister just because they haven't acknowledged me and haven't walked into their calling yet. Many are called, few are chosen. You know, few are chosen because the chosen ones are the ones that have surrendered all. The chosen ones that are the ones that are sold out. Many, many are called pastors and preachers and teachers and helpers and evangelists. But only a few are chosen. 
Only a few are fearfully and wonderfully made. Only a few are special people because they are doing the works according to the word of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God made us. And when he made us, he know what he put inside of us. He didn't say you was going to always have good days all the time. That's not what he said. He said you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He didn't say I'm not going to allow Satan to, to uh, come into your area. He didn't say that. He said, I'm going to let Satan come in there because I know you're fearfully and wonderfully made. I know that you are chosen and you're among the few that I chose. I said, I know that. He said, I called many, but I only chose a few. And the few that I chose are fearfully and wonderfully made. So I'm going to let you say, I'm going to let you come over there and I'm going to let you mess with them. But you can touch any, everything but their soul. Like you told about Job. And Job, he didn't faint. Job kept on going, kept on going. And that's how it is so today. You know, the enemy comes and he attacks us. And we have to remember that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. We have to remember no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We have to remember that we're a special people. We have to remember we're a chosen generation. We have to remember that God put something inside of us and he know what he put inside of us. We have to remember that. Don't lose heart and faint. No, don't be weary and well doing. Because if you... Don't faint. You will reap a harvest and a multitude of greatness from God. And when God bless you and God open up a door, no man can close it. But on the other hand, when God closed the door for your disobedience, nobody can open it either. Understand, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Call according to the purpose of God. A chosen generation. You're a special people. It doesn't mean for us to be conceited. It doesn't mean for us to think that we're above everybody else. You know, uh-uh, look down on people. God said, I made you the head and not the tail. He didn't say, I made you uh, above and conceited above all the people and look down on them and talk about them. That's not written. That's you doing your own thing. That's you taking the anointing that God gave you on your life, using it for your own vain and foul glory. The blood of Jesus prevails against that spirit. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The anointing on your life is for the will of God. It is not for your own self-satisfaction. It is for us to be about our father's business at all times. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At all times, we are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. We don't get a chance to say, I'm going to set the Holy Ghost to the side, even though some of us do. I'm going to smoke this cigarette right fast. God knows my heart. I'm going to drink this. You know, God knows my heart. You know, I got glaucoma in my eyes, so I smoke this weed. God knows my heart. Yeah, God does know your heart. And what you're doing is contaminating and you're killing out the anointing that's on your life with the foul spirit that you're letting to enter into your body. Your temple is a whole, the part of the Holy Ghost. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? Romans 12 and 1 said, I beseech ye therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. It's the least we can do because we are fearfully and wonderfully made as it is written in Psalms. Chapter 139, verse 14. And then he goes in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, and tells us we're special people. We don't need all those drugs and alcohol to uh, get us on that high where we're looking for. Let the Holy Ghost get you on a high where you'll never come down and it's everlasting. No weapon formed against you will prosper. God can give you a high that no man can take down. Spirit of God. You'll be happier than ever before. You'll be walking in the anointing and people be saying, I know she's going through, but she's still happy. She glorifying God. What's going on with her? That's the Holy Ghost high that's inside of you. And I'm walking on it. And I'm trusting him. And I'm believing in him. And I know that he said he'll never leave me nor forsake me. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a chosen generation. I am the head and not the tail. I am a lender and not a borrower. I am a special people. You've got to be able to talk to your situation. You know, don't bow down and uh, murmur and complain and start using profanity. People cuss because they don't know what else to say. Those are empty, foul spirits. You're going to cuss somebody out instead of saying, God bless you. God bless them. Because if they knew who I was, God, in you, they wouldn't be cussing me out. God, they wouldn't be talking to me like that. If they knew the anointing on my life and how I'd be able to get a prayer through for them, God. God bless them. But you know what, God? I'm going to do what you said in your Bible. You said for me to pray. In the words you said for pray for my enemies, I'm going to pray for them, God. 
I'm going to pray for him, God. Because you said in your book and you said in the word when I was reading, you let me know that you'll let my enemies be at my foot. And so I'm going to trust you, God. And you said you'll take care of me. You said you got me. And I believe you. I know it to be true. Why don't you try him for yourself? He said, you're the head and not the tail. He said, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. So when he made you, he didn't make another. It's only one person can do the job that I called here on earth for you to do. I anointed you to do that task. Get up off your knees and dust yourself off. Sure, you're going through. Sure, you're either going in a storm, you're coming out of a storm, or you're in a storm. Praise your way through the storm. And don't forget, the storm maker is King Jesus. So if he made the storm, he can get you through the storm. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they told him, I know he can bring us through it. But even if he don't, we will not bow to that foul God that you want us to bow to. And then what happened? They began to trust God. They kept the faith. And that fourth man showed up. So in the Bible days, so in the day. When God show up and the Holy Ghost show up on your behalf, there is nothing and nobody can stop you. Nothing and nobody can stop the blessings. Nothing and nobody can stop the anointing. Favor just ain't fair. Favor overflow and abundance will be on your life when you surrender to God. You get into that Bible. You begin to study that word every day. You begin to pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray without stopping. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. And you realize and understand that you'll be praying so it becomes a natural part of your life. You understand that you can't do, you can't live without prayer. You can't live without getting in the Bible and feeding on the word of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a special person. You are a chosen generation by God. I thank God for you tuning into the House of Prayer online ministry. Continue to pray for us. For we understand no weapon formed against us shall prosper. God called us into this ministry. This is God's ministry. We give it back to him. When my husband here, the late Dr. Harris was here, we prayed and we gave God back this ministry. And God has multiplied it. God is going to take it on to the next level. And it is not about us. It is in him we live, move, and have our being. Continue to seek God and know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God bless you. And keep us in your prayers. God loves you.